So all of that was nonsense. Let's actually start on this video, shall we? As always, before Comic-Con, I'm remaking everything for my costumes to make sure they're perfect. So this year I'm going to be remaking the shoes for my Harley costume. Every year prior, I've done shoe covers. I've made covers just for belly flats or something out of the excess material from my bodysuits. This year I decided to do something different and actually buy a pair of shoes and I'm actually going to paint one red so I don't have to deal with the shoe cover slipping off or not fitting right and just stuff. These are the shoes I bought. Um, I bought them off of eBay. They are brand new. They were only eight bucks. I kind of lucked out. Shush! He likes them. If you sing from down there, I'm going to be angry. What they said, they were sort of plays, never been worn, but since I didn't have a box for them, they were selling them super cheap online. So I was like, I need that. Paint-wise, you can do a few things. You cannot use spray paint. Um, spray paint will chip and flake. It does not bend, so whenever your foot moves, it's going to chip in those sections and look really, really bad. I've done it. Don't do it. There is, I think it's a Liquitex spray paint, which will work for shoes. It actually has some maneuverability to it, so it will work. I still don't really trust any spray paint to go on my shoes. Other than that, I've only used acrylic paint and fabric paint, which in case you didn't know, fabric paint is actually the same thing as acrylic paint, just with a um, flexible additive added to it. This is the shoe that needs to be red. It's your left side. Left side is red shoe. Okay, let's just have at it. Oop, there's still black in my brush. Bad, bad artistry right there. So just keep painting. Hold on! My camera died like halfway between when I was painting it. So I'm actually done because I just kept painting while my camera was off. But you saw me pretty much paint it. I got it to be the right color red. So I mixed this Liquitex acrylic paint with fabric paint to get this bright color that I did. I'm hoping it's going to hold up. I'll let you know in the description later after I wear this all day at Comic-Con to see if it flakes or cracks or anything. I'm hoping it's not. I decided not to paint the heel. It wouldn't have looked right. It looks fine just as it is. So that's about it. You just paint the shoe. Definitely recommend fabric paint over acrylic, but acrylic will work. It just won't hold up nearly as well as the fabric paint will. There you are, guys. Good luck in all your shoe painting and cosplay endeavors. See you next time. Jingles too much for me to talk because I move my hands too much when I talk. That needs to go. Bird! Where are you? Angel! What are you doing climbing up my desk? Come here. Ooh. Ooh. Kinda want something bigger. Ooh. Maybe that. No. It's not. I'm picky about my brushes. Leave me alone. This looks more like a plum. Oh no. Honestly, this is how I roll. I just keep adding colors into my paint to make sure it looks like it's the right color. Bird, come and be in my video! Yes, come to me.